Hello everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and this video is concerned with a review on different types of crochet hook. I'm often asked which ones are the best ones to use as I've been crocheting for quite a long time and there are so many on the market. Um, and I've always had a little opinion that these, these are as good as any to be honest with you. These were the first hooks that I ever learnt on and the majority of them I believe back then would have been Millwood. Um, I don't know what make they are now, but um, they're, they're pretty good. They're quite standard. The only thing I will say is when, when you get hot, especially in the summer months, then the your hands tend to sweat a little bit and the yarn then starts to squeak as it moves up and down this part, which does drive me completely round the bend. I don't know about you. Um, these then came on the market, lovely bright colours, and um, they're just basically the same um, as those, but they do have a little bit of a shinier um, vibe, so this does slip a little bit more, which allows you to um, build up a bit of speed. But again, if you're hot, then they do start to squeak on the uh, hook, which can be annoying. The first ones with the grip that I ever bought, I got from Dunelm, and it was these. Um, I confess I don't know the make, but um, they're not particularly br brilliant. They're the same basic grey hook with just a tubey kind of handle and it tapers and they're okay. They, they do their job, but, you know, I can't say that I was that enamoured with those. I had some really, really chunky yarn and I wanted to make something... So I ordered um, some over large hooks from eBay. When they arrived, they were plastic. And I have to say, I cannot use these. They are just the most infuriating hooks that I've ever tried to use. The drag on these is just completely and utterly, well, it drives me so f mad that I um, I just literally cannot cannot do it. So I decided to invest in some more expensive hooks and see um, if any of them were suitable for me. And the first I tried was the Tulip Etimo. And I have to say, as soon as I started to use it, I liked it, but I kept dropping a stitch. And it just really bugged me as to why. I know I crochet quite fast, but and these are um, very smooth, so it uh, does um, enable you to crochet quite fast. I like the way this contours because I don't hold my hooks like that. I hold it like this and it enables me to do that because it's quite thin. But this um, being quite slippery at first, I thought that was the reason. And if you look, the hook itself isn't the most defined hook. So I thought perhaps that was the reason. But then I realised it actually angles down and that is the problem that I have. Where it angles down, it just enables it to slip off. I really enjoyed using this at first. I thought it was going to be my go-to hook. And I even bought the larger size um, to enable me to do that large, thick project. Um, I then decided that I was going to try the Clover because everybody raves about the Clover. So I tried the Amour and I have to say I hated this yarn, uh, sorry, this hook. Um, I think it's because although it does taper a little, it's not really enough and it's just too chunky here for me, this part. Um, again, it angled down very um, sort of steeply for me and enabled me to drop the stitches, which um, didn't really um, help me. Now the Clover Soft Touch, I find a better I did order quite a few of these. Again, they've got that angle, but it doesn't seem quite as bad. The hook seems a little more defined and I can actually hold this quite nicely. So I, as you can see, I've got a few of these and I do like them, but I think for me, the best hook that I've tried and the one that I always go to, sorry, I just knocked my camera, is this and it's the Nipro. Um, when you first pick it up it doesn't seem quite as well made as the Clover Soft Touch or the others the others do seem a little more stylish but I think it's absolutely amazing it's really nice and slim for me to hold the actual angle there isn't really a, a defined 
angle so I don't drop the stitch. It's nice and smooth, which enables me to build up speed. And I think from now on, I think it's going to be the Knit Pro for me that I'm going to order. So basically, they're all very nice and a lot of people love the Clover Amour. They absolutely rave about it. But for me, not, not so much. The Clover Soft Touch, a lot better for me. But I think the way to go for me is definitely Knit Pro. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that... Um, you can uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell and you'll get notifications of when there's new videos. And um, I hope to grow this channel with your help. Thank you very much for watching. Happy hooking.